Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have had a busy week. <laughs> I bet you have to. We had a Will and I had a field trip to a local farm. I had been, we've already, he and I had been to it one time, and I think I went to it one time with Brooke, both when they were younger, and, uh, but we had a great time. And um, also, I, you know, made my sunglass video last Sunday, where I also made two more videos this week. All I need to do is finish editing them, and then I will post those in the next couple of days. And, um, one of those was my Monet video. I just kind of went through, um, you know, my thinking on it, just kind of like an introductory video. But what I did is I went through all the products that I got in my big um, initial box. And so last night, I was, you know, getting some of the things out that I hadn't used yet. And I got the bright idea to not use conditioner in the shower and to use the leave-in conditioner. And my hair is just, I mean, it is wild today. It is just like, um, I don't know if frizzy is the word because the curls stayed in it a whole bunch. And it was just so crazy looking that I just put it up. So I know I don't wear, and this is just in one of those, um, it's kind of like a messy bun in one of those coily things. So that's why I have my hair up today. I usually don't, I don't feel my best with my hair up. But anyway, um, and I did not get a lot of stuff this week. I did order, I think last weekend, I ordered, I think three dresses from Nordstrom Rack. And if I would have known that they were gonna take this long to get here, I probably would have paid a little extra for the shipping. I hate waiting. But um, first it said they were gonna be here today and then they changed it to Monday. So I'll show you those next week. And then um, I didn't go anywhere shopping this week. I don't think I went anywhere. I was busy with school. And then yesterday I got my nails done. Um, this is a really neat shade. It's called, um, put it in neutral. And it is just like nothing. I mean, it is literally just like, you know, it doesn't have any pink to it. It's just almost like the color of your nails. I really like it. And um, then, oh, okay, the big event is Brooks Prom is this weekend. So today I have to boogie on out of here and um, I've got to pick her up. I've got to pick up her dress because we had it altered and um, had the hem taken up and a few other things. And um, I have got to get a clutch. We just thought about it last night, some type of bag for her to take. So um, it was probably a good week for me not to have much to show you. So last week we went, um, I had already got her shoes for her prom, but um, we went to lunch with John and Will, and then we wanted to go somewhere separate. A lot of times they'll go somewhere and do boy stuff. And um, hold on just a second. Okay, I kind of already went into a little um, bird rant <laughs> in one of my other videos, so I won't do it again, but I just had to take down my hanging baskets because they left that one alone and they were, they were going to another one. So anyway, um, I have been looking for a pair of, okay, going back to Brooke and I, we wanted to go somewhere and I thought, well, we'll go to Dillard's. That way we can look at clothes, makeup. And I wanted to look at the prom dresses there too, even though she had hers. Just, we ordered hers and um, from Lulu's. And um, I just wanted her to look and just make sure. And she was sure, she really likes hers. So, um, and then we looked at the shoes because I wanted her to be sure because I had uh, purchased hers from Banana Republic. So, um, we ended up looking in the shoe department and I have been looking for a pair of just really simple sandals with a heel, single sole, um, not a chunky heel. And I want them in like natural tan colored leather. And the, the way I got the idea was um, when I was thinking of what to wear to Raleigh last week, Brooke sent me this picture, I'll put it in here, of um, Carrie off Sex in the City. And she said, um, get inspired, you know, off that picture or whatever. And I love the shoes that Carrie had in that picture. And you know, I know, you know, I love like nude sandals and everything, but most of mine are just like that creamy nude. They're not like the tan nude. So I have been looking. So if you know of any, I would love some that are really simple like hers. But in the meantime, I saw these. And these are the Steve Madden 
um, goodness, I don't know what the name of them is. Usually it's on the box, but anyway, I'll put the link down below. Um, and I tried them on and they fit really nice. And they've got a high heel, but it's my typical, it's probably about a four inch heel. And um, I really like them. They look really pretty on. And I thought until I find, and they're, you know, kind of like that suede material, but that's real popular this summer for sandals. And um, so until I find exactly what I want, which there might, might not be, I'm sure that the shoes that Carrie is wearing are probably Manolos or something that aren't made anymore. And um, so I have been looking at like eBay and the real real. So if any of you guys know anything like that, let me know. But um, until then, I like these and I think they will look good with dresses and everything and jeans. So that is, I hate to say, I think that's the only thing I have to show you. I don't think I bought, oh, one thing I did buy, I didn't even bring it out here, we bought that day, is um, a good old Lancome art liner. And I tell you, it's sometimes it's refreshing after all these years of YouTube and trying all these new products to kind of go back to something that, oh my goodness, there's Chanel. Um, I was thinking when I was out there, those birds remind me of Chanel, so persistent. But um, I was thinking, you know, how refreshing it is to go back to something that you loved before you tried all the things, you know, and then you come back to it. And I have really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing, the only negative I can say is you do have to put it back in and kind of shake it before you do the other eye, but it makes it incredibly easy to do a wing, especially if you're doing these where you're just kind of coming straight out and then connecting it right back in. It's just the best. And there is just something about the black of an art liner. It's so intense and it's not real matte, but it's not real shiny and I love it. So Brooke and I both got an art liner and then, um, gosh, I don't know. I can't think we went, I ended up getting her some pajamas and a bunch of other stuff. You know how that, that goes. She finds, you could take her to a gas station and she would find something to buy. But, um, so, and then I don't think I've been shopping all week. I think I did go um, into, oh, I know one thing I got. I'll be right back. Okay, this is something I got, and it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Now, I, I really think we've got this somewhere. Brooke says she doesn't remember us getting it, but I cannot imagine as popular as this was. Now we've got the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and we've got the bonbon palette and the peach palette, whatever it is. But what made me think of this is we were going in a restaurant and one of the girls, the hostesses, had the most beautiful gold shadow on her eyelids. I mean, it was just gorgeous. And so I asked her what it was, and she said it was the chocolate bar palette. And I specifically asked her, is it the original one or the semi-sweet? She said, no, the original one. And the color that it is, is this um, right here. And it is the most beautiful gold eyeshadow you have ever seen. Um, let me see if it'll swatch on my bony hand here. But it is just, and it is the most beautiful, one color eyeshadow. I actually got a towel here. And um, so I tried other shadows that I have out of like the um, Natural Love palette and stuff like that and nothing compared because I had swatched it in the store. So I did buy this and um, Brooke may use that for prom. We were looking for a gold shadow. But I wore that yesterday. Today I have on this color, this marzipan all over my lid and then I put this color a little bit in the outer crease but just and look at that purple that is like the most beautiful purple color and then it's got that dark brown it's just a beautiful palette and I really really like the butteriness of the shadows of all Too Faced shadows so I did run in Ulta really quick and get that one day and then yesterday, I texted Kelly Oliver to see what they had in, and she said they had in this that I'm wearing today, and it is a, gosh, did I take the tag? I hope I did. It is the, you know those tops that I wear that are off the shoulder a little bit and ribbed, and then I have the long sleeve ones, and they're called um, Getting Back to Square One, that brand. That's what this is, but it is a bodysuit, and um, 
what I love bodysuits anyway. I love the way they look with jeans. And I wish I told her when I went and bought it that I wish I had a pair of high waisted pants. And uh, she says, well, it would look good with high-waisted jeans, so that's what I'm wearing today. But um, I love that it is the thong style bodysuit. That's what keeps me from getting a lot of bodysuits is because it doesn't matter if your bodysuit has this much or this much. It's all going to end up in, you know, how it goes. And um, I don't like it to show on my jeans. So this one is like a thong bodysuit. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then... I can't believe it. Oh, I do have one thing that my friend Denise sent me, so I'll show you that in a minute. Be right back. Okay, so I have on my, um, well here, I'll show you up close. So here is the bodysuit, and it's that same ribbed material, and it's got the um, buttons, and you could button it up one more, but I just did, undid one button. I felt like it was smoother looking. And this is the medium, and it's very, very soft. All these things are so soft. And um, these jeans are the Leah by Citizens of Humanity. And um, I would probably wear heels. Um, today I've got on just my good old Javianas. And the reason is I have a lot, a lot, a lot to do today. Getting all Brooke stuff and then get doing a few other things. So I want to be able to just get in and out and um, not really worry about you know, how, you know what I mean. Okay, and then, yeah, um, yes, was it yesterday? Or I think it was day before yesterday, I got a box from Denise and I let it sit there and I texted her, I said, I got your package, but I am not gonna open it till I send your package out. Cause I am the worst. I love buying stuff for people, but I am the worst about getting it together and sending it out. So I did that, put it in the mailbox and I opened it up. And she says, oh no, I want you to open it up. I want you to see what you, I wanna see what you think. And um, her cousin had gotten us um, some more of the Bondi Sands. This is the actual tanner. Um, she had already sent me some more of the Gradual Tanner with SPF 15 that I love. It's what I've been using this whole spring, and I love it. She, so she got me that, and then she got me some of the Wash Off Instant Tan Light Medium from that same brand. And I haven't used this yet, but I'm going to use it the same way I do my Sally Hansen. But she told me that she got me this and I forgot. She ordered us both the Kylie Cosmetics, um, I think it's the Kim KW, KKW Lip Collection. And I have not even used these yet because I've had them out here to show you guys and then I didn't even think about it today. But, um, hmm, let's, let's put one on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll just blot what I have on off. I don't wanna get my lip liner too smeared. Okay, she said that the light one was probably a little bit too light for her. Let's do, um, gosh, which one do you wanna do? Let's do this one, the more pinky tone one. Let's see if it has a name. Okay, this one is called Kim. So let's see how it goes. Oh gosh, it's pretty. That is pretty. And she said that they weren't too, um, I probably did not need that next swipe. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna blot a little bit. Oh, I love that. So it's a little bit lighter than what I had on. I could probably go over it with a lip liner again, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna enjoy it. They feel really good. So it's not like a matte lip cream. It's just a, yeah, a cream liquid lipstick because it doesn't feel like the kind that's gonna go matte. So thank you, Denise, for that. I love those. Uh, for accessories today, I just have on my big, uh, thin little hoops. I think they're called Nikki hoops. I have on one of my Dean Davidson rings. Um, I have on, I had taken this off for something. I can't even remember, but I just put it back on and it is my Meriwith um, little Andy bracelet from Oliver. And um, I wanted to put it on my right hand, but I couldn't do it by myself with my left handed. So I had to put it over here for today. Sure. And then for um, sunglasses today, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Maybe I will wear, I will probably wear a plain pair of Ray-Ban aviators. 
I've got some in the car. That's probably with the sunglasses that I wear. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And like I said, I will post those other two videos and then I will see you next week. Bye-bye.